Misha Jacks has joined us today to talk some Emory women's basketball. Coach, uh, eight games uh, in the books, five and three. Uh, your team's gone for finals and for holidays. Just talk about kind of uh, the eight game state of state of the union, so to speak. Well, we've learned a lot. That's for sure. And I think more so we've kind of been able to identify how we're going to play as a team. And the girls have kind of set that standard. And what do they want to be known as when we go out on the court every night? And they've kind of been able to put that to the test. After eight games, they've been trying to see, now that we've watched eight games of ourselves, what do we look like? Are we this team that we want to be, up-tempo, offensively and defensively, disrupting, rebounding? Is that what we look like on film? And we've got a chance to get it back in action on the practice before they left for finals to make sure that we clean up a couple of those things. You know, uh, coming up, a uh, couple games next week after the holidays, you have a couple home games, uh, Maryville and then Barry, back-to-back -back, uh, contests. Talk about those yeah, but Maryville is playing extremely well right now, coming off three-game homestand, um, off three big wins. And so, as always, great team, NCAA tournament-type team. And so that will be a great test for us. And Barry as well, they're playing extremely well right now, playing very well on the road, uh, which is tough anywhere. And so that will be a big contest for us coming in back-to-back -back for sure. When you, uh, you know, when you talk to your players before they kind of got out of town, what was kind of the message that you gave to them, you know, heading into the break and over the holidays? The big message was to make sure that they're getting better over this break. A lot of times I think we think the break is a time to relax and maintain. And our biggest message in the girls say to themselves, they should come back better than they were before, not just maintain where they were. You know, talk about obviously... Uh, no game since December 5th, but as usual, all, all the coaches are busy this time of year. A lot of things going on. I talk about kind of like what you've been, uh, your duties. A lot of them, a lot of this is reevaluating ourselves mm -hmm. and going back to what I was saying, making sure that we look like what we want to, what we want our identity to be on the court, on film, mm -hmm. and trying to give our players as much feedback as we can. There's a lot of technology out there, and trying to use that to our advantage to make sure we're getting the most out of it. And that feedback has been extremely helpful for them. And then just reevaluating our systems, offensively and defensively. Is there anything we can clean up? Is there anything to add? You know, uh, long break. I was the last game. I think it was the fifth. You imagine you'll bring your uh, players back to 26. You know, talk about kind of that long break and how you kind of work them back into the swing of things. And, you know, obviously you as a player here kind of went through the same uh, situation. Yes, and we send the girls home with some workouts, mm -hmm. um, basketball for and some strength conditioning things, and so they should keep them in the shape that they need to. But as well as when they come back, it'll be some fine-tuning. We know we may be a little bit rough after a while <laughs> off. So for us, it'll be fine-tuning some things, but at the same time, understanding that nothing's changed. We're not going to be reinventing the wheel when they come back, but making sure that intensity and the tempo and the effort's there. We have those three things. Everything else will fall into place. All right, Coach, thanks very much for your time. We'll let you get back to work. Uh, have a good holiday season, and we'll see you uh, next week. Thank you. Happy holidays.